Boys, and welcome back to another review by Project. Again with you, I'm Psycho, and in this part I am going to be reviewing a game that I recorded myself um, for the channel, um, one of my favorite horror games, um, Outlast. Um, Outlast is a first-person horror game um, pretty much designed to make you shit yourself. It's a really intense game um, with loads of creepy stuff throughout it. Um, I personally love the game, um, love the way it was made, um, and the story behind it. Um, there, in in the game, there is no way of killing people, so pretty much um, you're left to kind of get out of the the facility. I think it was a hospital um, or some or a jail uh, or or a psychiatric hospital, something like that. I don't I don't remember um, just now, um, but yeah. You don't have any way of killing people, which is really fun because, um, well, if you had it, you, well, I'd pretty much kill everybody and just get out. Um, so, um, yeah, it's a fun game pretty much because of that and because of the, the, the darkness it has um, throughout the game and that you have to walk around with a camera with kind of a blurry, uh, a blurry vision, blurry night vision with, um, with pretty much little, little vision all in all. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much designed to make you shit yourself, as I said before. Um, there's a lot of environment in, uh, interaction throughout the game. Um, even though you can't really activate everything or do stuff with everything, there is an option. <laughs> even if you can't open a door, there is an option to open a door. Which I don't know why, but yeah, it's an option to open a door if, even if you can't open it. Um, so yeah, as far as the gameplay goes, um, it's a first-person horror game with spooky gameplay, as you can see, um, with kind of um, fucked up, <laughs> I can't find another word than fucked up, um, some creepy, creepy ass stuff with creepy people throughout the hospital, kind of sued up and torn up and everything, um, so it's kind of... It's a really creepy game if you play it at night, so I kind of don't suggest that doing that um, unless you're a true man. Then, then you can do it. Um, so yeah, it's it's very scary, um, and it has very nice camera angles, especially um, when filming with the actual camera. <laughs> and um, and the graphics um, are, um, as I said, very good for the genre. Uh, most of the horror games don't have the graphics that, that are this good. Um, but yeah, as said, it's a very dark game, but although it's dark, uh, the transitions between the the lighted and the dark parts are really good. Um, so you can kind of really enjoy the game, um, even though it is very, as said, very dark. Um, but it's the... The dark uh, and light parts uh, don't really affect the graphics that much because of the good transitions that they have made um, in the game. So, um, yeah, because of its um, quite uh, low requirements and it can be run on even on a bit older uh, computers. Um, so, yeah, it's a fun game. Um, it's a great game. Um, it's a great horror game. Um, it's one of the best in this genre. Pretty much, um, as said, it's pretty much one of my favorites. If not, um, actually, well, it's pretty much one of my favorite games of all time, and especially my favorite horror game because, because of the story, because of the gameplay, because of the graphics. I pretty, I kind of don't see a bad side in the game uh, besides it being creepy and stuff. But I really love those kind of games, so. That was one of the most most fun games for me to play. Um, so yeah, I, um, for all you horror horror games fans out there, I highly suggest it. Um, it's gonna keep you awake for a long time. Um, so if you like these kind of game kinds of games, if you're manly enough to play them, I highly suggest it. It's a it's a really awesome game. So that's pretty much gonna be all from my side for this horror game. Don't forget to like and subscribe, um, comment on the videos, and I'm going to be seeing you guys in the next one.